Hi everyone, it's Brooms here and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing some more Evil Dead the game. The video I have for you today is more towards new demons. Just to show you guys how the demon is viable. I know there is a huge lack of demons at the moment because there is a lot of moaning that the demons are weak and the demons have been nerfed too much and cars are OP. Anyway, I don't want to get into it. All I want to say is that I've been having a lot of fun in the last few days with this game. So I just want to show you guys how the demon is strong and you can really counter some decent teams with a lot of dodge which I, I see a lot of demons not doing it and honestly I didn't used to do lots of dodging before but now I'm really getting better at it and I feel like it can be really strong and it can really keep you within that possession for longer and then I just want to show you guys maybe some tactics that I use to ensure that I can defeat the survivors more than going on about builds this is more about decision making I will show you the build that I'm using but I think decision making plays a crucial part in this game so I'm someone who can make a really good decision on one moment and then the next moment I make a terrible decision and it's just it's just the way I am there's nothing I can do so during this video I'll be showing you what I think was a good decision I've made and what I think I've messed up me watching my videos back it really helps me and maybe it will help you guys as well if you guys have any tips on my gameplay please drop me a comment I'd love to hear it I'm all years and I'm all about improving so this build does revolve around basics but then we also have Kandarian Fury which I think is essential for games these days we also want to ensure we have points on relentless evil because we want to be able to use our active skill as much as possible have points on prism rules because we want to make them bleed and that can actually drain their health quite quickly we also want to have points on puppet master invigorating possession because that's how we're gonna ensure that even after we are depossessed we still have a high level of infernal energy of course we want to reduce the cooldown of basics and a really good one to have is tenacious demonic dash because that will ensure that we can use the dash more frequently which can be really crucial at some specific points in the game another one that i'm also investing points on is on the self-destruct ability we increase in the radius and we also increase the damage because when survivors panic they can miscalculate how far they need to be from you when you explode and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do drop me a like and a comment for the algorithm subscribe and i will see you all in a second Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do is look at the map and then decide where you want to go. And the way I do this is looking where the dag and where the map is are, where I am, and then just trying to figure out where is sort of a midpoint that the survivors could be. In the old maps, I know they can't be too close to you or the objectives, so look around the map and decide where you're gonna go based on that. And on the way to searching for the survivors, I just put as many traps out as I can. Okay, so we find a Cheryl here, and then we're just gonna trap it, and we are quite high on energy, so what we do here, we just possess the unit straight away. And then we're just gonna try and just damage the Cheryl as much as possible. You can see she's trying to vault there, she can't, so we're just gonna give chase. We got enough energy to sustain this. And we're just gonna try and bully her. And I'm just going into sprint and then um, a heavy attack. Oh, she's just like one. And there I made a mistake. You can see that I just went, I, I dodged backwards for whatever reason. I thought maybe she was coming towards me. And then I could have downed her right there. But that was my mistake. So what we want to do now, we want to just keep the pressure on these survivors. So this was quite funny what happened there. They had just found a map piece and then what happened was the next map piece is spawned literally on top of them, wherever Cheryl and uh, here the tower, Cheryl and uh, Henry were. And then they just grabbed the second map piece. Uh, very bad RNG, but what can you do? Definitely not in my favor, that one. And here just missed Cheryl there. So here what I thought I'd do is uh, sometimes when Henry is with Cheryl, it's quite hard to down the Cheryl. So what I thought I'd just do here is I just trap all of this and I just try to waste the time as much as possible. And then I just, I was just going to give chase to their companions. And they already fell into it. And then they just jumped off. And so I just chased them a little bit more. And here you go, here's the Henry trying to defend the Shadow, but I was really trying to use my dodges there oh right, she just just managed to heal then 
Yeah, but you see I'm still quite high on energy because of the skill points I've put on. And here my idea was to just go backwards and keep Henry busy with his units so that I could actually swing at him or just whatever, however much I could. And here we just keep putting pressure on them. And here Henry, I don't know, I think he just forget about, forgot about Cheryl. That's quite bad of him, and that actually I think is gonna cost. It's gonna cost them Cheryl now. Oh, and there it is. Right, and then he put, popped his ability, which is the right thing to do. And I didn't have any more energy anyway. So here they were just about to start points. He's just trying to gang on me. I'm just trying to work on the dodge as much as I can. So maybe one or two swings and then dodge so that they miss. I'm just trying to waste the time. Now here is really low. He fell into my self-destruct ability there, which is why the, one of the reasons I have points on them. And then I just moved him as far away from the survivors as possible because I knew he was going to die from the possession here. And then here I just made another mistake, which is I thought I was going to catch Ash here, but actually what I should have done is save the demonic dash for this uh, moment so that you wouldn't get the res. But yeah, that's me making one good decision one time and then a really bad decision the next. And then here we could get the boss out. So I just got as much energy as I could. And this, honestly, I really think the Puppeteer is one of the best bosses because it's just got all these AoE attacks. Like the heavy attack, it's not great because you can take a lot of damage, but actually you can damage all of them for almost 200 points. So let's just see how this comes out. Yeah, so Ash took some damage there and now again, heavy. And two or three of them took more damage. You see, I'm still half health. And I think one of the problems with this team is they don't have a hunter. That's why they're struggling. But look, just heavy attacks. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And Sherry's trying there. I wonder if she's using that exploit because she just used four amulets. Anyway, I've got, I'm two seconds away from the AoE attack. I missed Cheryl. And actually, Henry didn't take as much damage as I was hoping. But now Cheryl went, Cheryl went down to the AI. Now we just want to keep them from rezzing. So he's going to try and res her. And Ash is going to try and res him. And then Scotty... Oh, Scotty disconnected? <laughs> It's, connect it's just so bad when this happens. I mean, you know, give your best. And now you def definitely ruined it. And that was that. So the second game I have, it's th they're actually doing less of teamwork and they're splitting up a bit, which is really not great. It's not what you want to see as a demon because, well, you know, it makes the game easier for you as a demon. Uh, but then, if you if you split up, guys, then you really you, you really won't stand much of a chance. So Cheryl, she's not far away from the others, but she's far enough that she just got herself into a bit of trouble there. Yeah, and I I have a feeling we get her here. She's trying to get into the car. And then they go around. Oh yeah, she just gets into the car there. Oh, and I almost got her there. And then in the end, we just decided to leave Cheryl. I decided to go and look for the, her teammates, but then I realized she was near point and they already had the three map pieces and she was alone there. Then I thought, you don't want to be alone here. So she really doesn't have a chance against all these units here. So yeah, this is definitely not the best team 
But you can see that one of my favorite attacks that I'm doing now is the sprint with a the heavy. There, another one. Yeah, and then she went down. And then here, another one completely alone. And um, I'm not sure. I think Henry is going to is going towards Pages. All right. Yeah, Henry just started Pages. And we just. I think I decide to leave her because Henry's on point. If he grabs that point, Cheryl will come back. But then he's full fear. So I just possess him and I just move him out of point. So... Not the best idea really to be alone there with a high fear and now they have to restart point. So she's coming to reactivate her. Her fear is going up and she restarts her. So we're just gonna take this unit and... Yeah, here is quite low. I don't know if he's got his ability or not. He's got this Pike X, which I'm not. I'm not sure what this elbow, what this weapon is about. All right, comes Scotty now. Now all we want to do is just prevent them from um, getting Henry up. So we just possess Scotty. It's all about decision making, really, you know? What, what what are the right decisions at that time? And it's easy to mess things up. It's trying to keep as calm as possible, just trying to assess the, all the, the whole situation. So I'm just moving him as far away as possible from the others. And, you know, this Scotty, he could have disconnected right here and then, but he just persisted and, you know, why not? You wanna, you wanna play a game? Let's play a game. So we're gonna throw him on top of a trap so that we try to keep his fear up. He's gonna jump into this other car. Yeah, so he, he can only really resurrect the Henry now because both Cheryl and Annie have disconnected. It's a shame that survivors like this, they this ruins the game as well. So at the very end of this match, Scotty did bring Henry back. And then I just possessed Scotty Got rid of Henry with one shot, and I uh, just get the boss out, and that's pretty much the end of it. Yeah, so de definitely not a great team of survivors, and just the fact that they kept disconnecting, it just ruined the game for the others. But this third game is definitely a better team, and I think they were in the castle, yeah. That's what they were. And then as usual, just strap everything you see as much as, you c as much as I could. And then, there she is, completely alone. And that's what you want. You want the mistakes, you want the survivor that is isolated. And the thing is, you put the traps out because then you don't need to spawn your basics and that won't drain your, of your energy. Got it wrong there. And then we just dodge, because she misses. And then we try. And w this is what you guys need to remember, is that with this dodging of the demon, it's really strong because um, it's not like the they have stamina like the survivors they just it just resets every few seconds and it's got his ability on which is the right thing to do when they're resurrecting someone but Annie's quite low she's quite stuck there and there i dodge get away get out of it and then i just go straight for her yeah and then attack dodge I think Kami might have taken some damage there. I, I, I waste this demonic dash, but never mind. Because then what I actually managed to do is, while he's getting her up, I possess him. But then this happens often, this hitbox problem, when they crouch down. Maybe I need to do a heavy attack. That's, maybe that's what it is. And then we get a bit of energy back, and then we just possess Annie. And unfortunately, I can't do much here. Because that ash was just all over me. 
Then what happens next was a little bit of an accident, but actually it's a good tactic. So I possess the card just as they're going through the trap, and as they come out, that triggers the trap. Well, oh, that was actually quite good. <laughs> and here's the map, and then I just try to delay them a little bit more. Yeah, so they just shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, and then because they're just shooting me, I just try to get into cover. And I just wait for the right moment, and there he is, he's engaged in melee combat, and then I just go for him. Because he either got distracted or he thought he had the time, so I just took some of his health there. And then they just stand in there, so luckily I managed to get them up, get, get a scare on them. And Henry does the right thing there. And she's quite low, so I just really go for the pistol. And she gets two. I don't know why she did that. She got so close to me, and then I just down her. And that just grants me more points, really. I know I'm not gonna kill her now. But it's all about leveling up your demon and playing the long game, or as long game as you can. Bit of a crap shots gun. Uh, he's just waiting for me and I got him again. Not much really, it's pretty crappy. And here I can't see at all what's doing, what's happening, so I just bought a mash. And here we just get the boss, because we see again that the Annie is alone there. Henry's gone the other way, so we're just gonna try and take advantage of that. And she, instead of trying to get in, oh, I think that car is busted actually. Or maybe, I'm not sure if she's busted. I think that car is not busted, no. She could have gone into the car, but that was her mistake. But you see, it's just decision making. You, nobody plays perfect, and then all you need is people to make these little mistakes, and then you, you just get them. And here's the ad, which we didn't see all much until now. So I was assuming he was potentially a better player. And here comes Henry with his ability. I'm not sure that's the right Call for him to use his ability in that situation. But that cost him because he could have used his ability now, so he he messed up there, I think. Sometimes we just rush, we just I do that all the time. You just rush and then you think, oh I better do this now. But actually there are certain situations you want to use your abilities. So you really want to save save your abilities for whenever that time comes, because he can come at any time. Now it's just Ash left, really. And that my car just missed him, because he's on an incline. <laughs> okay. And so I've got my demonic dash here, so I'm just waiting for him to start the res for me to use it. Join this. Rise and shine. Oh, and then I messed up there. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, luckily, so I think Harry's ability would have come back by now, but he didn't use it. I'm not sure. And now, here's the power of the Demon's Dodge. I don't know why he didn't continue bashing me. But he was just coming for me, and I would just hit him and then dodge. There. So I really, I really like the puppeteers units and whenever you see your balance bar going down too much you can always just move away and then your balance bar regenerates you can see mine is full again so it doesn't take long for you to regenerate and there you have it guys i hope this helps you demons out there who are just starting to play if you did enjoy this video drop me a like and subscribe and i will see you next time